What's up tech gang, Stefan here from TechRite. Today we're going to be talking about the Galaxy S20. It seems a bunch of displays are failing. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, so this came to my attention a couple days ago. I wanted to make a video on it just to go ahead and take a poll in the comment section down below if this has happened to you, if you guys have the Galaxy S20. We're on androidpolice.com. I'll leave the article in the description down below. Shout out to Zachary for making this article. Huge shout out to you, boss. Samsung Galaxy S20 displays are mysteriously failing. So it says Samsung phones usually have excellent displays, but that doesn't mean they're perfect. Last year, we learned about a spate of dying Galaxy S20 screens where the phone would show a green tint and have visible lines running across it. Now this is the same thing very weirdly that one of my friends was dealing with. The Galaxy S20 screen just had the lines running across it. He thought it was like screen bleeding. It's happening more and more. So this is super weird. It said, we hope that would have been the end of things, but now less than a year later, another display problem seems to be affecting some unlucky Galaxy S20 phones. Several users across Twitter Reddit and Samsung's customer forums report pink or green lines streaking down at the displays of their Galaxy S20 phones. Many of those running into the problem note that it happened with a few days of updating the phone software, but given that some of these cases date back to August 2021 and some are as recent as this week, it's unclear if the defect is specifically being triggered by software updates or if something else entirely is behind it. Now this is a picture of what it looks like. Very, very weird stuff right here. It says seeing streaks of stuck pixels like this on an OLED display isn't unheard of. Maybe when a new phone is first released, some defective units slip through quality control or perhaps physical damage from a knock or drop is to blame. But neither of these seem likely here since we're both so far into the phone's life cycle and seeing such similar reports from multiple users. One lucky S20 owner was able to get a free screen repair from Samsung last year, but most of the others are being left out in the cold now that their warranty has expired, facing an expensive bill for having the screen repair placed. While this feels like a distinct problem from the green screen of death we reported last year, it raises its own questions about the longevity of Samsung's displays. It's certainly worrying to see such reports, especially when you factor in all of these phones from other OEMs that use Samsung screens. Hopefully this won't be something we hear about more often. Now I'm really, really hoping that uh, Samsung does go further into this. It's I haven't seen many articles on it. Um, there was just a few, honestly, it was weird. So hopefully Samsung's quality control is okay because you know, if, 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 if that's really an issue, then there's going to be a ton of devices that, uh, that are going to be defective. And that kind of sucks, you know, for the people with the galaxy S 20 that may have just got it. It's like their phone's already done and it's not under warranty or anything and that, that really sucks. Let me know in the comment section down below if this has happened to you. Um, I want to know how many people it's happened to with the Galaxy S20, but I feel Samsung definitely needs to get on this soon, um, especially since they just released the S22 Ultra, um, the entire S22 line. Sorry about that. Not just the S22 Ultra and the new A series phones that they just released as well. This is kind of scary to be honest. Um, I wouldn't worry, but we're definitely going to stay tuned and I'm going to make new videos on whether they have fixed it or not, or whether they figured out the problem of this whole thing happening. But again let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are facing the same issues with the s20 screen um, or if there's any other device that this randomly happened to i feel like if we find another device that it happens to we can pinpoint which displays are defective and samsung can uh, go ahead and remedy this as quick as possible but yeah guys if you enjoyed this video please leave a like down below as well subscribing if you're not part of the tech already also hit the notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time i upload a new video this has been some fall from tech right Peace out, Tekken.